pretentious world of estimation. This is the source of many arguments. Um, I, I want everyone watching to know two things. One is you can't just ignore estimation. When you're doing planning, if you want to plan how long something will take, you need to estimate how big it is. There's no other way. It's not a JIRA thing, it's the basic maths. But luckily, point two, estimation is much, much easier than you currently think. Don't be crippled by it, don't agonize over it, don't enter nothing just because you're not sure how big something is. Having some value as an estimate is infinitely better than having nothing. And it's an estimate. It doesn't matter if it's wrong. Don't spend too long on it. Don't Getting 100% better at estimating doesn't get you to the end any quicker. Just pick something and move on. All you have to do is decide are you doing time estimation or points? Now, I would encourage you, um, if you're agile and you're doing Scrum, use points. They are much easier. They're, they're nice and ambiguous. They average out better, I find, over a longer time. The value of them being, uh, you know, we can assign them quickly and they don't have the emotional weight of, a, of saying, how, you know, how many hours something will take. Um, also, as humans, we're interestingly, we're dreadful at estimating time. We consistently underestimate. Uh, interestingly, even if we're told we're underestimating, we still underestimate in time. So we're much better at comparing things and that's what points is all about. Just use them as they're intended. Um, if someone's saying, okay, we'll make one point as one day, you're, you're doing time estimation. Don't, don't confuse it. And that's fine, just use days. Um, so have a think about estimation. It's something that, um, yeah, for any kind of planning, if I ask you how long that task is gonna to take to do, I'm not telling you how big it is, it's very hard for you to tell me how long it will take. And that's, you know, planning in a nutshell.